Welcome back. Byram's Board of Aldermen has bypassed Hines County Supervisors by authorizing the purchase of 60 Motorola police radios for about $233,000. As Cheryl Laster tells us in this 300 side investigation, the process of getting them has not been cut and dry. Byram Alderman Richard White says Police Chief Luke Thompson is getting the Motorola radios he wanted all along. We started this process last year and we've all done, done everything as far as the paperwork. Uh, I think the leadership of Hines County has let Hines County down and Byron down. In early March, the Board of Supervisors approved the purchase of radios through E911 funds. I think they have been purchased, but we're not sure. Okay. We, can't, we don't communicate with Hines County. The purchase process has a long history. In February 2009, Hines filed suit against Motorola, alleging Motorola sold radio services and equipment to the county, and then to make a larger profit, allowed third parties access to Hines County's systems. Helping to author the audit report that led to the lawsuit, Stacy Stowers, a former Motorola employee, and Nathan Hargrove, a former employee of Brown Communications, a subcontractor of Motorola. Stowers later formed Airwave LLC, which has numerous contracts with Hines County, one of which pays him more than $700,000 a year to service the radio system. Nathan Hargrove shares this Jackson office space with Stowers, and Hargrove owns North Star Wireless, which subcontracts with Airwave to work on the system. Hargrove is also a paid consultant to Hines County. Back in March of this year, the Wireless Communications Commission approved the purchase of Motorola radios for Byram, but Hargrove recommended the purchase of EF Johnson radios, which he was selling. At the time, Motorola's quote came in lower. It's believed the county went ahead and purchased the EF Johnson radios out of E911 funds that had been allocated. If so, Byram may have to temporarily pay for the Motorola's out of pocket. Cheryl Lassiter, WLBT News. District 5 Supervisor George Smith is the president of the Board of Supervisors. He says the Motorola, the Motorola radios were never cheaper. The EF Johnson radios were delivered within four days. He says installment and warranty were included in the price, and the city of Byram is trying to intimidate the board of, by, super, by authorizing the Motorola purchase.